Welcome to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and welcome to my top 5 games of March 2020. Let's start this off with number 5. Relentless is a trading simulation game where you manage money of a mutual fund and depending how well you do, you get different kind of premiums and then you can choose to buy better apartments or invest the money or whatever else you want. But the game introduces progression in a really nice way that essentially over time you get restrictions in which sectors you have to invest. So for example, you have to diversify for things like that. It's a very nice game if you're interested in like uh, trading or investing or money in general. And I only wish making money would be this easy in real life because then you would all be millionaires. All right, let's jump this to number four. Tower is a tower defense game, but what's really interesting here is as opposed to just placing towers as is typical in tower defenses, you control one of these towers and you have a gun there and you actually shoot the enemies yourself. You can research to find new towers or to pick different kind of guns that you're going to use yourself to shoot enemies. And they also add some randomness in the sense that you have multiple missions that you need to pick from and any missions that you do not pick you essentially lose because the enemy goes there and you're not defending that place. So it's a really, really nice tower defense game. It has a lot of towers, a lot of enemies, a lot of research that you can do. It's a quite complex and very fun tower defense game. Number three, Circadian Dice. This game I feel is genius because what this game does, instead of being a roguelike deck builder, it's a roguelike dice builder. What does that mean? Well, you actually build your own dice. So you have a die that has six sides and you choose what's on each side. And on some sides you can have attack, on some sides you have defense, on some sides there's like special abilities and things like that. And it's a really, really good idea because it, it gives you that randomness with the rolling of the dice, but you pick how the dice looks. And there even sometimes so you can say like, you can't roll this face. So essentially the six sided die is going to become five sided, which can be easier because you are going to roll better options. And you can also do things like capture enemies and essentially get the, let's say, ability of an enemy, put it on your die and make it yours. So this is a really, really interesting game. There are a lot of different characters that you can play as, a lot of different enemies. I really, really like this one. Number two. Now, for the Warp is a roguelike deck builder, it's going to an early access and it's a very, very fun one. Essentially, you're playing as a ship commander and you are moving in space and you're fighting other ships. It's a really nice game. I've had a lot of fun with it. I've made some guides for it. It's If you're looking for roguelike deck builders, I highly recommend this one. Now, before we go to number one, let me show you the patron's choice. Green and Orcs Life. Now I'm gonna say here that there was actually a tie. There were three games that were nominated for top one in patron shows, and that was this, Greens and Orc Life, and also Tower, which you already talked about, and uh, Low Magic Age, which is kind of like a D&D &D if it was played on computer. But today we're gonna to talk about Green and Orcs Life, and that's a life simulation card swiper. Essentially you live in whole life as an orc from being born as a baby and then you're making decisions through your life you're gonna move through life and some a lot of interesting stuff is gonna happen this is a really fun game especially if you want to kind of relax and just you know like play a life like ask yourself what if you were an orc you know and then you get to make your own decisions maybe you'll be rich maybe you'll be the king and maybe you'll die very quickly or maybe you'll help somebody else become king <laughs> all right now let's go talk about number one Cards is a roguelike deck builder. It's another early access and this game is absolutely amazing. So this is a roguelike deck builder, but there are a lot of unique stuff there. For example, typically in roguelike deck builders, you've got mana, which is essentially what you use to buy new cards. And then you have health, which you need to keep up, otherwise you die, right? Not in this game. In this game, mana and health are mushed into the same thing, which is money. And essentially you are paying your money to get new cards, but you also need to get certain amount of money to be able to win. So that's a really genius combination. I like that a lot. Another really cool thing about this game is that you have three types of cards. You have buildings, workers, and henchmen. Buildings and workers give you usually some sort of passive bonus, but henchmen are active. You can use them to destroy 
other people's buildings and things like that which is really really interesting so i like the different kind of combinations and what i like the most is the setting of this game this game is set in a business world so instead of you know like killing enemies or fighting like fictional monsters you're actually creating a business and you're fighting off other businesses and you're not, not usually killing anyone you're just you know maybe taking up the space or buying that lot so the other guy cannot build a thing there so i think it's a really really nice idea it's a very well presented game and even though it's just in early access i feel like it's very very good you should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it yet let me know what are your top five games from march 2020 and you can click anywhere to watch any of the games mentioned i'll see you there bye bye